Hello, I'm Winlin. Uh, I founded SRS, which stands for Simple Real-Time Server, or SARS for short. Uh, SRS is an easy to use, efficient, real-time video server that supports various protocols like RCANP, WebRTC, HLS, HTTP, FLV, SRT, and MPEG Dash. And in this video, I'll talk about some common ways people use SRS. There are several well-known open source media servers out there like Nginx RTMP for live streaming, Janus and MediaSoup for WebRTC, and of course, SRS for everything. Uh, we started the SRS project back in 2013, uh, initially uh, supporting RTMP and HLS. Uh, with latencies of one to three seconds and five to 10 seconds respectively. SRS also worked with HTTP FLV and HTTPTS, which are similar to RTMP. Uh, in 2020, uh, we expanded our community and added support for uh, WebRTC and SRT, allowing for sub-second latency. Uh, SRT latency is around three to 500 milliseconds, while WebRTC latency is between 80 to 200 milliseconds. SRS acts as a media gateway converting between RTMP, SRT, and WebRTC. So you don't need three separate servers. Um, we've also updated um, our documentation and website, which you can check out at osrs.io. Uh, SRS has come a long way, but there's still more to do. Uh, uh, we're building a, a global, community on Discord, helping many developers and earning their gratitude. Um, now, let me introduce you to some of the ways people use SRS. The first use case is the origin cluster, which is a group of origin servers. Um, an origin server is a fundamental and essential server that works as an SRS gateway receiving and converting streams from publishers. In in-body uh, directions mode, uh, unlike edge or proxy servers uh, that scale out the origin server, the origin server is critical. So um, by default, an uh, SRS server acts as an origin server serving as a streaming hub that collects streams from various publishers um, you can send live streams via RTMP, SRT, or WebRTC to the origin server, which then converts them to HLS, HTTP, FOV, RTMP, SRT, and WebRTC. Um, you can also pull uh, streams from the origin server, uh, transcode, DVR, or forward them to other servers, and even deliver them to a CDN or create a CDN using SRS. Uh, in short, this is a key feature of SRS. Are you a video blogger with lots of high quality videos? Um, and have you thought about setting up a live room to grow your business? And with SRS Cloud, you can easily turn your video files into live streams and engage your audience without having to live stream yourself. Um, SRS Cloud lets you create virtual live streaming 24 seven in just three steps. Upload your videos, set up a live room like a YouTube live room and copy paste the stream key to start live streaming. Um, it's easy, doesn't require any uh, media streaming expertise. Uh, and SRS Cloud can even restream your live streams to other platforms for free since it's open source. Uh, if you own a WordPress site, you may have considered adding live streaming, uh, which was previously not possible uh, due to WordPress's limitations. Uh, um, but now with the SRS Player WordPress plugin, you can incorporate live streaming using HTTP, FLV, HLS, and WebRTC, as well as video on demand streaming by HTTP MP4. Uh, simply embed the live streaming player with a WordPress short code, which you can find in the SRS Cloud Console. Uh, this powerful plugin makes live streaming accessible to everyone, uh, even in WooCommerce, uh, a widely used e-commerce plugin for WordPress, showcasing the impact of open source technology. 
uh, SRS Unity shows how Unity developers can integrate live streaming uh, with a WebRTC SDK that's compatible with SRS. Uh, um, you can send the Unity camera feed to SRS and play the stream in a browser, retrieve the stream from SRS and display it in a Unity game or enable multiple Unity games to interact using WebRTC. Uh, in this scenario, SRS serves as a WebRTC SFU server uh, which is essential for WebRTC Unity clients in a production setting. Uh, WebRTC P2P isn't reliable in real world situations, but an SFU server provides improved network quality, scalability, and support for WebRTC RTMP conversion. Um, plus you can record WebRTC strings as video on demand files. And SRS works with the Unity WebRTC SDK, Unity AR, and VR. Uh, SRS can be employed in the broadcast industry to develop a remote content creation system. Um, um, the original camera feed is sent to SRS uh, and accessed remotely by an editor who adds watermarks and logos to the edited stream uh, with SRT. Latency is around three to 500 milliseconds, uh, enabling real-time editing and switching between camera feeds. Uh, low latency ensures all streams are synchronized, making it a powerful tool for remote content creation. Um, you can edit from a distance without being on location and produce multiple streams at once, even generating HDR content using HEVC or EV1. Uh, SRS is also useful in uh, the AI field for video and audio processing. Um, uh, receive streams from SRS and process them with AI models like using deepfake for face swapping. Um, SRS is compatible with AI models for audio processing as shown by the SRS K2 project, which demonstrates how to use SRS with K2 FSA for ASR um, Caldi 2.0, a popular open source ASR. Um, the end-to-end -end latency of SRS K2 is around 400 to 800 milliseconds, like this would be used in WebRTC for, for multi-language real-time communication systems. Um, um, this allows for conversations with people in various languages and integration with the AIGC system um, to, to cut your live streaming expenses by half. Um, think about using HEVC or AV1. Uh, AV1 is a new open source royalty free video codec, um, but its hardware decoder isn't as common as HEVC. Uh, however, it's quickly gaining traction um, and looks promising for the future. Um, HEVC is a widely adopted uh, codec in the industry uh, supported by OBS through RTMP and SRT. Uh, send the HEVC stream to SRS using OBS and play the stream with H5 player mpgs.js, the LT Sorry. or FF play. Uh, AGVC or AV1 is essential for 8K live streaming and is becoming popular in the VR AR field. Um, do you want to broadcast your live streams on multiple platforms like YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and TikTok? Um, um, the SRS Cloud simplifies this task um, and doesn't use up your bandwidth since it takes care of the restreaming for you. Uh, Prometheus, a, um, a well-known open source monitoring system, is natively supported by SRS through its exporter, letting you keep an eye on the SRS server, uh, visualize metrics with Grafana, uh, and uh, look forward to Prometheus and Grafana uh, being integrated uh, into the SRS cloud in the future. Um, to back the project, think about donating by a um, Open Collective. Uh, thanks for watching this video on SRS.
Um, if you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more short videos like this. See you in the next one.